The shakedown continues on the American people. I want to go briefly to these two articles, then we're going to go back to your phone call. Senator Dodd favors bank super cop idea. You see, Senator Dodd, who ran for the presidency, who was a prominent member of the Democratic Party, is out there promoting that the people who caused this economic crisis, the Federal Reserve Bank, the IMF, the, uh, the uh, World Bank, they should regulate themselves and they should regulate all the other banks and then non-bank organizations as well. And I know that Alex covered that on the Thursday program because I gave him the article. And now they're just saying, yeah, you know, I think it's great that we're going to have a non-governmental organization oversee all these banks. They're going to stop this from ever happening again. No, they're going to continue to consolidate power till they get their global currency, till they get their global government. All right, let's go to Kelly in New Hampshire. Kelly, you're online. Hi, Jason. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. Um, I was wondering, when are you going to go back to having the nightly show? I will probably be going back to the nightly show sometime in January or February, depending on when I'm absolutely finished with uh, Invisible Empire. Uh, right now, I'm working so hard on this film. i got about 25 minutes on the timeline. Uh, I've got an interview coming up with Peter Dale Scott on October 1st. He's going to be in the picture. I did an interview with G. Edward Griffin. I did an interview with Mark Dice. So far, those are the three people that are definitely going to be into it. But as soon as I get done with that, I'm probably going to start going back to my uh, 9 to midnight show. We'll see if I keep the same time slot. I'm not quite sure. Uh, but uh, the release date for that is February 12th. So that means that I'll probably have it off to DVD by the beginning of February and hopefully... We'll have the main part of the movie done by the end of December, and January will only be sweetening. So perhaps then I will have my nightly show back. Won't you be doing some kind of um, tour for your DVD opening? Uh, you know, we'll see. Uh, I'll definitely be doing some uh, audio interviews, and uh, if people want to have me out to uh, locations like the Grand Lake Theater in uh, California or the likes... Uh, maybe over on the East Coast. I may do some screenings. I may just let people do the screenings themselves. Uh, I don't know if I'll travel. I, I couldn't tell you. It, it's kind of all up in the air to me. It's kind of hard for me to travel too because uh, I'm, you know, I'm a single guy. I live by myself. I've got three dogs. Uh, no one takes care of the dogs for me, but me. So if I'm gone for a week or two weeks, I have to somebody over my house. I mean, it's kind of difficult. But at the same time, I do like traveling. I do like meeting new people, and I really like to get people involved that walk into the theater with somebody who is aware of this information and they just kind of snicker and laugh at me and like, oh, I came here. And then at the end they go, look, man, uh, I'm really sorry. I, I I was wrong and this was a real eye opener and they shake my hand. So we'll see what happens. But, uh, you know, I'm planning on launching it uh, on the 12th for free on YouTube through Change the Channel. I don't know if he's listening, but... We're going to make sure he has the video and people can watch it in the highest quality the day it comes out. Uh, I think the next day, whether or not, I believe I'm releasing it on a Friday. So I may or may not wait until Sunday to do a show where we base it all on the movie and people's opinion of the movie. I may do a live chat. A lot of ideas up in the air right now, Kelly. Okay, great. All right, thanks. Okay. Thank you for the call. Let's go to Anita in Texas. Anita, you're online. Hi, Jason. How's it going? Good. How are you? I'm good. Listen, I got about three things, different things I want to um, ask you about. Sure. First of all, somebody told me about the movie State of Play. Have you seen that? State of Play? No. Is that a Hollywood picture? Yeah. And um, they said it's got a lot of this stuff in it, you know, so I'm going to watch it. I was just wondering if Who's you had Who's in that? Is that, the, is that the Harrison Ford picture? Um, I don't remember if he said that's who was in there or not. You know, I, 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 I keep up a little bit on pop culture. I, I, I saw District 9, and I thought District 9 was awesome, and it really had a lot of the globalist overtones in it. For instance, uh, the organization that's overseeing it is like a quasi-UN corporation organization, and it's all about redistributing these aliens from one concentration camp to another. And during that, they're talking about permits for children. And really, a lot of these, I mean, they, they go into uh, the, the bureaucratic mindset it's an excellent film. I really uh, I recommend District Nine to everybody. In fact, the the uh, the UN type organization even had like a Baphomet type logo as their logo. It was like kind of a goat's head. It was it was definitely bizarre and, and it was good. But I will check out State of Play. What else you got for me, Anita? Okay, Anita, um, Anita hold over. We're, we're about to take a break. Hold hold over. I'll hold you over to the next break. 
We're going to go to Anthony and a lot more. It's 888-201-2244. The Info Warrior with Jason Burmis. How would you like to be charged $200 for a 911 call? Well, it's on the horizon in some of the poorer counties out there because the economy's collapsing and we have to take drastic measures. We'll be back with your phone calls after this. It's the Info Warrior.